But I need fresh Go revelation. Ahead, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of mourning over meat. I need fresh Woo. meat. Uh, we need to realize that what is going on in the earth, you have to understand whatever is going on in the earth, it, it, it has just not started because we see it. Right. It started in the realm of the spirit. And, and I'm not saying that there was no one that was sensitive to the spirit because we know God always got somebody. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. On his side and doing his will. Come and so now. we realize that the shift that is going on in the earth, it is supposed to happen. Yes. It, How yes, is it that the body of Christ, oh my God, of those that really are trusting God or what God called the remnant? How is it that the remnant will be able to come into a place where God has been speaking? All shall know that God is God, and beside Woo! him, there is no other Well, God. He knows how to bring people yes. to their knees to cry out that oh, Jesus yes. Christ is Lord. Come on, mother. And so we're excited to be in such a time as this. Yes. You know, Esther, you know, uh, 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 Mordecai told Esther, you, you came to the palace. Okay. But Hello. such a time as this, so Hello. don't start tripping because you're in the palace. Hello. It's a job to be done. That's it. So that's what it. am I saying? Don't be so all excited because God saved you and delivered mm -hmm. you and has given you an anointing and you just sitting there. No, you came to the palace for such a time as this. And it's you time for you to go it. out and begin to do what the Spirit of the Lord has watched this, commanded you to do. Yes. And you, all you need to do is have a yes, Lord. Come on as now. As long as you got a yes, Lord, that's come it. On then now. the Lord himself will give you direction. <laughs> He will begin to give you strategy. Yes. Who am I talking yes. to? The steps of the good man are ordered by God. God is not going to have us out there and just wandering, wandering out there. Out. He's going to give us our instructions. Come on, mother. He is going to lead and he is going to guide. Yes. As long as we stay, as long as we stay yielded and as long as, long as we stay in humility, yes. we will always hear yes. what the Spirit of the Lord is saying and we will always begin to move out. Are Come you on, hearing mother. it? Yes. You must be about the father's business in this hour and so therefore the lord has us on a journey Mm -hmm. And the journey he has us on is, is supernatural. Come on, mother. And he began to take us. If you go back into all the teachings, he began to take us to give us some understanding. Why is a person land cursed? How did a person land get cursed? And how does a person, glory God, in the realm of the spirit? I'm not talking about natural land. Right. I'm talking about in the realm of the spirit. Are you hearing me? Yes. In the realm of the spirit. How does one land get cursed? Come on, mother. Are you hearing yes. me? There is a way that your land becomes come cursed. And then there is a way that God brings your land from being cursed into being blessed. Yes. Everybody that's hollering, they're blessed. They are not blessed. Yes. Because yes. according to scripture, it, it defines the difference between being blessed and being cursed. Yes. Look on, at y'all. Look at, yes. at on, me. Mother. But how does one curse themselves? You curse, you and I will curse ourselves when we do not obey what yes. God has called yes. us to do. Yes. So that's we it. find ourselves, glory to God, only God can pluck us up out of a blessed land. No devil in hell can pluck us up out of there. Not even ourselves can pluck us up out of there. Nobody can pluck us out of this land called blessed because it is the Lord that plants us in this land called blessed. As long as we obey him, we stay planted. Yes. If you go back to Genesis, when Adam Disobey God, God plucked him out of the Come on, land, Come and on, now he it. had to toil by the sweat of his brow. Yes, yes, yes. But it was all because, give me some water, daughter. Yes. It yes. was all because, glory to God, he disobeyed God. Look at the loving God that we have, the merciful God that we have. He began to ask Adam, what is it that you have done? Instead of Adam coming clean, Adam tried to put it on Eve. All you got to do is learn how to come clean with God. When you come clean with God, he will then be, begin, glory to God, to allow mercy to come your way. When mercy begins to come your way, he will begin to allow you to repent and turn, change your mind, glory to God, of the way you used to think. The that's way it, you that's used it, to that's think it. will cause you to start reacting. Yep. And so if you yep. and I is thinking the wrong way, we will react the wrong way. Are you hearing me? Yes. But if we think right, we will react right. Let this mind be in you as it also is in Christ Jesus. So that is how, glory to God, Adam who was on a blessed land came into came into a cursed land. Excuse me. <coughs> we going somewhere tonight. 
Yeah, we are. Come on, mother. <clears throat> so, God bless you, Prophet is McClain. He comes into a cursed land. But God had all along to bring us, the body of Christ, from a cursed land to a blessed land. Now that I know where I'm at, uh -huh. I'm in a blessed land. Right. I'm not going to allow nobody nor myself None. Nobody. to get plucked out of that land. Tell because the Lord said, I'm going, I'm, watch what he says, and then I'm going into the teacher. Yes. The Lord said, I'm going to give you, I'm going to take you to this place. You can't take yourself. Are you hearing me? Yes. God will have to take you to this blessed land. Go ahead, Mother. Go Are ahead. Me? Yes. And when he takes you there, he plants you there. And if he plants you there, you and I can't get pulled up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. From any type of storm. Come on. From any type of situation. From any type of glory to God. Things is not of God. It will not do what? Pull us up. Now, we are in this place. If you go back in the teachings, then you will hear. A lot of people think they at Jericho. You can't be at Jericho because Jericho is a, watch this, is a part of the place of Canaan. Come on, mother. Lord have mercy. Come on, Lord mother. have mercy. Yes. And so we need to understand a lot of stuff that we are doing, we're doing in error because we don't have revelation of what Lord the Lord is saying. Come on, we are reading the word, but we're reading it without revelation. Come on. And when we read the word and don't have revelation, revelation reveals what, what? God has hidden. Come on. And when God has hidden, he's hidden himself. But when God reveals, he reveals a part of himself yes. to us. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. So when God reveals a part of himself to us and tells us you are on a blessed land in the realm of the spirit, you and I must keep the course. We must keep doing what we have been doing. We must keep speaking yes. like we have been speaking. Yes. And we must keep worshiping. Yes, yes. And praising God yes. like we've been doing. Yes. We must keep giving like we've been yeah, doing. We right need there, not right to there, right Are you Come hearing here. It's not upon what house you stay in. It's not upon what car you drive. Watch y'all. Watch this. It's not the kind of job you have that you are blessed. Because you can have all that stuff and still be on a cursed land. Yes. But I come to tell you that if you have been following us and taking the journey with us, yes. and really, glory to God, really, my God from Zion, really been removing things and asking God to forgive you and asking God to uproot and gut Come on, and, on and, you. and right really there, right causing there. Come yourself here, to get in a proper that place is, with God it, so he could take you and I into this place. Place yes. called blessed. Yes. Everybody is not in this place called blessed. Say it. Say it, mother. I don't care how shaka bo shana you do. I don't care how many scriptures you remember. And I don't even care what it is that you dream. Because gifts and callings come without repentance. You and I, glory to God, was out there being a sinner and still and was still. gifted. Come on, that's mother. It, that's it. So you and I, glory to God, there is a sacrifice. There is a giving up on this journey. Come on. If you're not willing to give up whatever God tells you to give up, then you need to leave this journey alone because this journey, glory to God, is about what? Giving up. up. Come on. Giving up of yourself. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. Whatever God tells you to give up, whatever God tells you to walk away from, whoever God tells you to leave alone, you got to learn how to find yourself doing that. If you and I do not find ourselves doing that, then we are not on the blessed land which flows with milk and honey. And the blessed land that flows with milk and honey is real. Come on. Just because you get a check don't mean you on the land flow. Flowing. Are you hearing me? Yes. It's deeper than a check. That's it. Are you hearing me? Yes, Glory to God. Being in the flow of a land flowing with milk and honey is talking about revelation. Come on. You will always have revelation. It is also talking about the blessings of the Lord. It's also talking about understanding what God, what God. is saying. That's it. That's it. Lord have mercy. Teach, the Bible says 
said, glory to God, the Issachar, the tribe of Issachar, they knew the times and the seasons yes. of what to do. Yes. A lot of us don't know the times and the seasons of what to do because we have not sold oh, out no, to God bad. so God can begin to deal yeah. with us yeah. that the timing yeah. that you are in, it will not affect come your on, season. Come on. Keep on moving come on. in God. Yes. But a lot of us don't have the spirit of Issachar because you got to understand that the spirit of Issachar is a part of the 12 tribes. And when God had glory to God, my God, Israel, to lay his hands on his 12 sons, he began to speak into their life, which is now, watch this, impartation. All right. All right. Are you hearing me? Yes. So the spirit, Issachar, the, 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 the children, the sons, are you hearing me? The tribe of Issachar, they know the times and the seasons of what That's to a do. Thing. A lot of us don't know what to do in the season that we are in. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because first of all, we don't spend time with God. Are you yeah. hearing me? The first thing you must do is learn how to spend time with God. That's when it. you spend time with somebody that you love, glory to God, it's just you, you and them, them. and it. you're literally spending time you're spending time to get to what know, know one another yes, yes what they like and what, what they, they dislike on, are you me. hearing me yes, and you. then you put away the things they dislike are you Ooh. hearing me and they will always be there for you which i'm talking about god but i'm bringing some understanding by using a metaphor of what we do what we call a relationship on earth right Got it? yes so you can understand so you and i need to understand we need to know the times and the seasons that we are in of what to do. Come on, mother. Come on. Of what yes. to do? Yes. Are you hearing me? Just because the clouds are outside, it looked like it's going to rain, does not mean it's going to rain. Now, how does one will know that? First of all, here it is, metaphor. Here it is. You turn to the weather channel. Mm -hmm. And the weather channel is supposed to tell you what is going to happen. Right. And God is telling you that it's not going to rain because even though you see the clouds, it's not going to rain. So if it's not going to rain, why would you have to take your umbrella? Right. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Which means God would give us, glory to God, what we need to do in the seasons of and the times when things look like hell then hit our house. Come on, mother. The seasons and the times when it looked like things are not going right in your atmosphere. Yes, he will yes, give yes. you what to do. Are you hearing me? Yes. And so it's supernatural. Yes. You and I got to understand that the God that we serve, the God that we are sold out to, is a God that always is constantly moving. 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 Oh my God! Teach Constantly mother. moving, and so when we get stuck, yeah, 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 in one way of God, God uh -huh. moves a different way. Oh, no when we way. get stuck in one oil of the anointed, God has my God, my God, called a fresh oil yes. of the anointed. You cannot get stuck. God ain't gonna get stuck. God is doing what? He's constantly moving. Are you hearing yes. this? And you got to. Yes, I heard the Holy Ghost say you got to learn how to shuffle your feet. Listen, because if you learn how to shuffle your feet, the enemy cannot hear. Glory to God, your footsteps. And if he cannot hear your footsteps, then he does not know which way you're going or which way you're coming. Somebody should have said amen right there amen. because you got to learn how to shuffle with your feet. Yes. Are you hearing me? Come, on, when it, come on here, Muhammad Ali, because when it's time to box and he's in a boxing ring, there's a time that when he used to box, he would do what? Shuffle, shuffle his, his feet. feet. And when he shuffled his feet, his feet were shuffling so fast, which means it changed the rhythm of his hit. That, yeah. right that was good right there. That was good right there. When he shuffled his feet, it changed the rhythm of his hit, which means God said if you will learn how to my God, get with him and ask him, glory to God, what should I do in this season? Where should I go in this season? What time is it? Tell me what we ought to be doing. Tell me what I should be telling my children what to do. Yeah. Tell Come me here, what Pastor. I should be telling glory to God, my husband or my wife what to do. Yes. Tell me what I should be telling my siblings what to do. Because if we don't learn how to get instructions, glory to God, information and strategy from God, we will not make it Come on, in mother. this hour. Come on, Who am I Come on, mother. You got to understand, That's just exactly. as a serpent or a cobra or what we call 
a snake. A snake does not launch when it first sees you. Come on, mother. Come on. A snake, a corpora, a corpora, you know, glory to God, a snake, amen. It does not launch when it first sees you. Right. It sits back and it watches right. you. Yeah, it is. You got to understand yes, that mother. the enemy, he sits back yeah. and he watches your yeah. every move. Yeah. You got to learn how to do things in the realm of the spirit. Yeah. And you got to learn how to do it when God has covered you. Yes. You got to learn how to do it under the blood. And I'm not talking about no mess. Are you hearing me? I'm talking about moving in the in realm of the, the spirit. Of the spirit. I'm talking about doing things in the realm of the spirit and letting God cover you. Because about time, glory to God, God uncovers you, you made it to your destiny while the while the enemy is still back there at stop. Teach mother. Who am Teach, I talking mother. to? Teach. You and I gotta learn how to shuffle our feet. Yes. You learn how to shuffle your feet. That's why you gotta learn how to praise God, praise baby. Him. Praise him. Come on, I'm on you. That's why you gotta learn how to praise God. Because that's shuffling other feet. And when you shuffle other feet, then there's a my God causes your hands. Because he said, I will teach your hands to do what? To war. Are you hearing me? Which means now it'll cause it to what? Move a little faster. Are you hearing me? So while the enemy is looking at you to cut under, you cut over. Come Are you on, hearing what the Spirit on. of the Lord has said? We need to have the spirit of Issachar to know the times and the seasons of what to do. And you can't look to your young Yesterday and say yesterday this happened like this, so I'm gonna do it like this today. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor not so. Not, not so. so. You got to learn how to stay in the face of Come God. On, you got to learn how to be sold out for real. You got to learn how to drop people off. Glory Ooh. to God, because everybody Ooh. is not going where you go. Ooh. And so for that reason, you go back and all the teachers and listen and take your Bible and your paper and your pen and write the scriptures down. And my God, get with God and let God begin to give you fresh revelation. Yes. And now God to begin yes. to open the scriptures even yes. the more to you. Glory to God, because where we are at, we are what? There. there. That's there. it. That's it. We That's are it. there now. Yes. Where is there? I am in the land, in the spiritual land, glory to God, called blessed. On, this mother. land is supposed to have a manifestation. You can't right. tell me you blessed and there is no movement, my God, of the rim of the spirit. Come there on, is mother. no movement of the spirit of God in your life. Are you hearing me? Water represent or symbolic of what? The spirit of, spirit God. of God. And water is supposed to what? Move. Ooh. When it moves, you know it's what? Life right. in it. But Ooh. if it's stagnated, then you know it's what is dead. dead. Come on, mother. Teach. Are you hearing me. Yes. And so for that reason, we need to realize that we are there. Yes. And if we are there, God is doing what? He is blessing us. He is moving for us. He is telling us what to do, when to do, and oh. what to do. Yes. And I just heard the Holy Ghost say, tell three people, stop questioning me and just trust me, said the Lord. Mother. See, yes, yeah, there's something you, better, you, 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 you can better, question you God, but you question right God because you doubt God. My God, you're not questioning him. Glory to God. God, if do I go? Do I sit? Because whatever you say, I'm going to do. No, you question God because you don't trust him. Lord have mercy. You don't trust that he know how to drive. Glory to God, this vehicle of yours called life. Yes, mother. You don't trust him. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God with this vehicle called your money. Come on, mother. You don't trust him with this vehicle called your family. You don't trust him with this vehicle called your job. Are you hearing me? Yes. You don't trust him with this vehicle called your, my God, your school. Go ahead, mother. Come on, it's time for us to truly, really yes. trust God. Yes, and yes. say, God, whatever you want, here it is. You do it. You tell me what I need to do, and that settles it. Are you hearing me? Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. But that settles it. That, that settles, settles it. it. We are there. Hear what I'm telling you. You are there. And you should not allow yourself or anybody else. My God, bring, I can't stand negativity. Take that negative oh, stuff, mother. that negative talk, that doubting talk. Come on here and go somewhere and throw it in the sea. Because negativity and doubt is not going to get you be. anywhere. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor you don't have enough money for what God is showing you. You don't have enough money for what God is showing you. You don't even have enough education. My 
God, to be able to, my God, put it in to do what God has called you to do. You got to understand, you're going to have to trust God. You're going to have to, my God, lean on God. You're going to have to say, God, if you be for me, who then can be against me? Come on here. God, if you don't do it, it cannot be done. My God, it's time you say, God, if you got to make a window in heaven, it will happen. God, if you got to, my God, bring a fish or a bird and got my answer in his beak, you can do it. Is anybody listening? Yay! In this season, we going to have to trust God. And season thereafter, we going to have to keep trusting God. What well, God, it don't look like it. God is a God that is a spirit. And them that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. While you're looking in the natural, God said you're missing it because I'm working in what? The, the spirit. spirit. Are you hearing me? Yes. So you are there, my God, beloved. You are there. Where are you? You are in the land, in the land called blessed. The land that's flowing. A flow, continuously continuous. flow. Watch this. A continuous momentum. Come on, mother. Continuous Come momentum. On, mother. Mm -hmm. Teach. Not start, right. slow down. Right, start, right. Stop. Yeah. No. Continuous momentum. Yes. And God told us. Two weeks ago, I did what? I sped up the momentum. That's right. The glory That's of the Lord. Because we That's are in the cloud. Said, and the Lord okay. began to say, okay. I sped up okay. the momentum. Yes. So things are what? Watch this. It is moving fast. And you got to move with God. Are you hearing me? You trying to get a break in the midst of the move. And God said, not so. That's why you got to learn how. When God said, get your rest, get your rest. Because yes. when God said, it's time to move out, like he told Israel, it's time to move out. They couldn't say, I'm tired. Hold on. Can we go tomorrow? Can we do this tomorrow? No. It's time to what? Move yes. out. It's time to what? Go forward. And the momentum has what? Has changed. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. Are you hearing me? Yes. The speed of what God is doing has changed. Yes. So you and I are what? There. Yeah. So I'm telling you, this is a continuous teaching from last Wednesday. And the Lord said to, pre to prepare. Here. Prepare to be amazed yes. by God this week. Because you are there, you got to learn how to get up every morning. And every morning, before you say hi, if you got a spouse, don't speak to your spouse first. Speak to God first. Are you hearing yes. me? Before you go wake up your children for school, speak to God first. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, before mother. you turn over and pick up your cell phone and look at your cell uh. phone and see if you missed any call, talk to God first. Yes. Let God know you love him. Thank God for waking you up this morning. And then turn around and tell God, God amaze me today. Yes, Lord. God amazed me today. <laughs> and the reason why Please, you can shot, say that and say it with confidence I know. is because you right are there. there. Right is there, anybody Bobby. listening? Right there. everybody go home. I am right confident there. that when I open my mouth every confident. morning and I begin to pray, even pray with my boys after I done talked to God and after we begin to pray, I've always begin to say, I decree and declare that God, you're going to amaze us today. Yes. But I say it on my own. But when I pray for them before they go into school, I also say it again because guess what? He's doing Doing just what I said. Why? Because I'm in a place he put me in. It's called there. I'm in a blessed place. A oh, place mother. that's flowing oh, with and honey. And I, the momentum of, watch this, the momentum of the rim of the spirit in my life has did what? It has yes. now started speeding up. Come on, mother. Come Are you hearing? Yes. And you can't tell God to slow down. Hold on. You can't tell God to wait a minute. You're and you can't down. tell God, well, hold on. I ain't got everything together. He's been telling you. But you were just like the ones okay. that when Noah was building the ark okay. and Noah was trying to tell them it's going to rain. Okay. And because they didn't see the rain for a long period of time, they thought he was playing. But while he was saying, y'all better get ready, it's going to rain, he was still he doing was what? Still? Building the ark. So ah. when the rain came, before the rain came, the Lord told him, come on now and go in the ark. What am I said, you got to keep doing what God has called you to do because when the time comes, he going to say, it's time now. You can't go looking for stuff. Hello. Amen. You Teach got to mother. already be there. Teach you mother. got to already be prepared. Yes. Who am I talking to? Right so mother. I'm there. So every morning, glory to God for the rest of your life, as long as you stay
stay in that place because Deuteronomy says beware when God blesses you when my God the blessings overtake you when he opens up his good treasures to you and you begin glory to God to act like God did not put you in that place that God did not bless you he said beware that you do not forget about him are you hearing me because sometimes if God can bless us so so good in the realm of the spirit that we begin to forget forget, Come on now. forget that God is God forget how to pray like we used to pray when we didn't have nothing why I, I go, got go, 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 God go, every go, day go, what should I go what should I do where should I go eat it today how you understand what I'm telling yes. you he said beware in other words it's gonna get so good beware yeah. that you don't forget me come on now mother come on, don't be so quick to say oh God I ain't gonna forget you you should say God help us sister help us ah. Because I don't want to forget you, which means it's going to be so good to you. That's it. Come on here. Come you on. and I can have the ability to forget God. Yes. For real. Are you hearing yes. me? Yes. And I give it. Come and on, And I praise him. And then I worship him. And then I study of the word of God. And then I seek in his faith. And then us obeying him. And then us dropping stuff. Are you hearing me? Yes, Glory to God, get yourself together and be ready for what God is about to do. But every morning from this day, forget up. Yes. And say, God. Amaze me today. Clap your hands and say amen. Amen. The Bible says, the Bible says in Mark, glory to God, Mark, Mark chapter 2, Mark chapter 2 and verse 12. The Bible says, glory to God, prayer room, prayer room. Glory to God. Mark chapter 2 and verse 12, the Amplified says it like this. And he got up and immediately. Did y'all see that? Yes, mother. Did you see that? Mother. You take the time to read the verses prior to that. This is a man, glory to God, that he had, had, had a palsy. He couldn't move the muscles. Are you hearing me? Right. The tendencies of his muscles would not move. Glory to God. So he was in a place where he was just stiff. He yes. couldn't move. But he had some homies. He had some friends. He had people that was around him had his back. Are you hearing me? And they said to him, you're going to get your deliverance today. You're going to get your breakthrough today. See? God going to do it for you today. Are you hearing me? Ah! Their faith, glory to God, took them to a place. Amen. Glory yeah. to God. Hi, y'all go yeah. shot down. Because they wasn't going to stop until he got his breakthrough. You're That's right. what's wrong with a lot You're of us. Right. We won't right. stop. We won't. We, we stop. Stop. Yeah. We Go stop ahead, instead ahead. of glory to God, being consistent, yes. being consistent, talking to God, God talk about being it, consistent, saying God, do it, Pastor. being consistent, saying God, you're able, uh -huh, being consistent, uh -huh. saying God, thank you. We just stopped, but they were consistent, said, you gonna get your healing today. Today, right? And so this is what this chapter is all about. Today. Glory to God, the first <laughs> will, Amen. Catches us up, and it says, and he got up and immediately. Yes. That means God is gonna do some things quickly. Yes. Glory to God in my prayer room. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's going to do some things quickly and immediately. Glory to God. Immediately. You got to realize that God said, I'm getting ready to do things quickly. I'm getting ready to do things so fast in your life because Amos already told us that last week. Are you hearing me? My God, the ones, glory to God, that been plowing and sowing the seed. Are you hearing me? It's going to overtake the reaper and the reaper, glory to God, is going to be overtaken by the plowman. That means before you can even get your seed in the ground real good. You got a harvest. Are you hearing me? Because God is speeding up. He's speeding up. The momentum in your spirit is being sped up. The momentum in your life is being sped up. The momentum in your ministry is being sped up. The momentum, glory to God, in your vision, glory to God, your dreams you, are being sped up. Right. Are you hearing me? But it's time for you and I, glory to God, to prepare ourselves and every day that you get up to begin to open up your mouth and say, God amaze me today. So he got up and immediately picked up the mat and went out before them all so that they all were what? Astonished. Mm -hmm. And this word astonished me amazed. And that word amazed me surprised greatly. Oh my God. Did you see that? Oh my God. Oh my God. In other words, there ain't gonna be no gossiping. Come on now. It's going to be an all moment. <laughs> all moment. Come on. A-W-E. All uh, moment. All moment. Are you hearing me? Come on here, the mother. The people that was around him. 
Glory to God, that saw the manifestation of Jesus healing him. They was astonished. Are you hearing me? Yeah. They were being amazed of what God had done through Jesus for this man that was on this mat. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. He got up immediately. immediately. That's quickly. I am the return, Say. the response okay. is going to be quickly. It's going to blow your mind. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Pinch themselves and say, Am I dreaming or is this thing real? Because when I laid down, I laid down with hell with it. Come on now. But when I woke up, all things yes. was new. No. Everything. And I'm not just talking about just words, though. Come was on new. here. No, everything was new. Glory to God. The phone started. Come on. The answer came in. Come My on. The check came in the mail. Yes. The connection showed up. All new. things began to be what? New. new. And that was what? An overnight situation. Ah. That's why he said, Glory to God, hallelujah, most higher, that if you start blessing him, glory to God, and you bless him real good, hallelujah, most higher, your blessings, glory to God, that sad situation would turn into a joy situation, glory to God, and what it was at night would turn around and be the break of day, come on now, talking to God, right here, right here, right here, everybody, get yourself prepared, because the momentum of your ministry have just sped up, the momentum of your business have just sped up, the momentum Momentum of your children, so Jesus, you have just sped up the momentum of your dreams. Glory to God, being manifested, it has just sped up the momentum of your goals that God has approved. Have just sped come up. on now, you put your hands on yourself and say, Self, Self. Glory to God, the momentum of the, the healing of God have just sped up in your, in your body. When you wake up Woo! in the morning, something hey! already happened. Yes, you. something that already happened to you. Yes. They didn't take him out on that mat, Sister Regina. And then he went home. And then the next day, no, right then and there. Glory to God. Yes, God. He got up immediately. Yes, Lord. God said, immediately. Get that word yes. in your spirit. Yes. Get that word in your spirit. Get that word immediately in your spirit. This thing is going to happen immediately. Immediately. Are you here? Immediately. It's going to come in immediately. Yes. Are you here? Yes. Are you hearing me? That text is yes, going to come God. immediately. Yes. That email is going to come yes, immediately. God. Does anybody yes, listen up to everybody? I'm listening, I need you to I'm put listening. some hearts up here. Yes. God said he got up and he got up and immediately. 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 You get ready to be amazed. Immediately. He says, and guess what? They were astonished and they glorified and praised God, saying, saying, watch this, watch this. We have never seen anything like this. <laughs> Woo! That's what they're going to say. You're going to try to go? Yes, God. On the internet and try yeah, to find a testimony. You ain't going to be able to find it. No. Because God said, what are you about to do for you? Eagle. Ain't never been seen, been no seen like this. Seen this. You better Are you hearing me? This is what they were saying. So while they were saying Ooh. it, God said this was them praising God. We ain't never seen nothing like this. You ever seen something like this before? Have you ever heard of anything like this before? Have you ever seen of anybody doing like this before? Are you hearing me? Glory yes. to God. That's what is about to be said. But you got to get in your spirit yes. immediately. 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 Yes. God says, I have sped up the momentum of your life. The glory of the Lord has caused everything to speed up the momentum. Yes. If anybody ever rode a train or ever looked at a train or studied a train, when it takes off, from the place that it has been, what we call, we call I call it dot, but you know, at the at the starting point, right? When it start off, it starts off slow. Come on, yes, it do. Are mama. you hearing me? Yes. Then when it gets so far, it's speeding up, it's taking momentum. When it has a straight way, and it has to yep. go over to God, you switch in tracks. Uh -huh. It is switch that. tracks. When it switch tracks, you yes, are now flying. That's called Amtrak. Come yes, on, hallelujah. Yep. Amtrak. A.M. I, I just prophesied. Amtrak. 
a.m. Mm -hmm. Somebody got is getting ready to be blessed in the morning. A.m. A.m. 12 midnight is what? Hey! hey come on! Yes, me! Amtrak. Glory to God. That means it's supposed to be what? A speedy train. Yes, You're God. supposed to get there. Glory to God. Woo. In a fast pace. When it shifts the tracks and go to another track, it is now picking up momentum. Yes. I'm just trying to tell yes, three probably. people that you just shifted to a new track. And when you shift it to a new Jesus. track, all the thing now has what? Speed it speed up. Speed it up. The momentum yes. has speed it up in your life. And you can't sit there and say, God, slow down. And you can't sit there and say, God, oh my God, ooh, this is so overwhelming. But well, who God keeps going? No, you said it was overwhelming. You got to watch what you say in this hour because things have what sped up. Sped up you got to watch what you say out yes. of your mouth. Yes. Because if you say something positive, it's going to happen quickly. Come on. If you say something negative, Negative, it's gonna, it's gonna happen, happen quick. quickly. Why? Because things have what? According to Amos, yes. to God, it has sped up. Yes, yes. Are you hearing me? I'm yes. hearing you. So prepare okay. to be amazed by God this week. Yes. Prepare to be amazed by God this week. Yes. Prepare yes. to be amazed. By God, yes. this week, yes. which means Jesus. when tomorrow get here, glory to God, before the day is over, yes. God is going to amaze you. Yes. He's going to awe you. Yes. You're going to be shocked oh, for oh, the goodness of God. Who am I talking to? Uh huh. Tell him that. He just told me to tell somebody your waiting day is over. Your waiting day is over. Your waiting day is over. I didn't say waiting. I said waiting. W a i t i n g. Yes. Your waiting yes, day brother. is over. Yes. Yes. Because when God says wait, I say upon the Lord. Are you hearing me? When God said wait upon Him, that means He's going to do it. And when God has done it, you need to do what? When He tell you to move out, you need to move out. When He tell you to do this, you need to do this. Yes. Why? Because my waiting. My waiting day is over. I've been waiting on it. I've been waiting on this door. I was with you. I was right there with you. I've been waiting on this door. I promise you, I was right there. Open, open, open. You got it? I've been waiting on this door. Well, the waiting is over. The door is what? Oh, going okay. to open. When the door open, you need to what? Not be at all of the door being open. Right. You need to be at right. all is open and go through. Come it. on now. Uh huh. Tell them that you need to be at all and do it. So I've been waiting. I've been waiting on this door. I've been waiting on this manifestation. I've been waiting on this blessing. I've been waiting on this healing. I've been waiting on this deliverance. I've been waiting on this breakthrough. Got it? Yes. The God. waiting is over now. Yes. And if God said the waiting is over, you're going to have to learn how to bring it into manifestation now. It's supernatural. I said you're going to have to yes. learn how to bring it in the earthly realm because the waiting is over. Is anybody listening? I'm listening, listening Mother. Wow. There is no more waiting. Wow. Waiting for another letter to come for approval. Waiting. No, 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 no. There is no more waiting. It don't matter if you get the, the get the letter. And they say we still have we not still made a decision. It. Glory to God. God already gave you a word. You, you don't go off of what man is saying. You go off of what God is saying. Because yes. it's supernatural. God said the waiting is over. But they just sent you a letter and told you that we have not made a decision yet. And God said you don't go off with a paper. Glory to God. You go off of what he told you. And you open up your mouth and you begin to say, God, you said. You, you said the waiting you is over. You better come on here. So God, I need you to open yes. up. Yes. And so God, I need you to bring the divine connection. Jesus. And so God, I need you to do this now because you said, and I believe what you said, and I'm going to praise you for what you said. Man is saying this, but I'm not trusting what man is saying. I'm trusting what you said. Who am I talking to? Right. Prepare to be amazed. Ooh. You write about it. You write about it. Joshua. Word the word, mother. Joshua chapter 3 that verse 5 right. says, Then Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves for his purpose. This is amplified. Then Joshua said, Joshua chapter 3, verse 5. Then Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves for his purpose. That means if the waiting is over, Elder Sykes, 
That means the purpose of God is about to be manifested now. Come on, mother. Mother. The enemy thought he had you. The enemy thought he had stopped you. The enemy thought 